Hi again, everybody. My name is Greg Anderson, and this is the Good Timekeeping Show with Greg Anderson. And I owe you an apology already because of the silly title on this video. Uh, it happens all the time on YouTube, and uh, I just wanted to get your attention, but it drives me nuts when other people do it. And they say things like, don't buy this product until you watch my video, or don't do this until you watch my video. And uh, it's like, Okay, of all the places you could go online or anywhere else to find information, somehow I'm supposed to believe or make you believe that uh, none of those things matter until you have tapped into my knowledge and expertise before you can make a final decision on what you're going to do with your money or with your time or with your life. It's so silly. And this video is kind of a reaction to a video someone put up about three years ago that uh, said something about don't buy an atomic watch uh, before watching the video. And uh, I, it, just, it just kind of irked me back then and I finally got uh, riled up about it enough that I wanted to make a video right now and respond to this idea that uh, there's something hidden you need to know about atomic time products before you buy one. So what I'm going to tell you is they're great, okay? They do what they say they're going to do. And therefore, if you are in the right circumstances to get one, you're probably going to really enjoy it. So let me tell you a little story from about three years ago. So here I am in the, in the end of the year 2021. So about three years ago, the end of 2018, there was a rumor flying around the internet like wildfire about how um, funding for the WWV radio station, which includes WWVB out of Fort Collins, Colorado, that funding was going to be cut off beginning at the start of the year 2019. Supposedly, somebody found some documents, some budget information that said there was no budget to operate that radio station in the year 2019. So at the end of 2018, everyone said they're shutting down the atomic time tower for North America. So therefore, all your radio controlled clocks and watches are going to cease to function correctly, at least when it comes to receiving uh, atomic time information. Well, that was all over the internet and clock and watch enthusiasts were in a bit of a panic because of it, except there was one place where they never made that official announcement. And you know where that place was? The National Institute of Standards and Technology, the place that was in charge of running the radio station WWV and WWVB out of Fort Collins. Uh, they never said that there was going to be a problem and that the radio station was going to shut down. Nevertheless, you had people going online and producing videos saying, watch out, they're shutting down the atomic time transmitter. Well, I happened to find a, a video floating around from you know, three years ago that said that uh, atomic watches were uh, overpriced and worthless. And one of the things that made them going, uh, that was going to make them especially worthless was the lack of the ability to receive that radio station out of Fort Collins. Well, guess what? That video is still online. Now, here's the thing I would do if I were posting videos on YouTube that turned out to contain false information. Even if I thought the information was correct when I made the video and when I posted the video, if I eventually found out that the information in the video was false, then what I would have done, you see, is I would have gone into my list of videos that I produced and I would have found that video and I was, would select that video and I would click on a button marked delete. Okay? And I would take that video off of YouTube because it contains false information. And if at the end of the year 2018, I had made one or more videos talking about how the, uh, the atomic time transmitter was shutting down in 2019, then sometime around, oh, uh, the 1st of January 2019, or within a few days of that, I would have gone in and found that video that I made with that demonstrably false information, and I would have deleted that video. I wouldn't have left it sitting there online for people to watch, now coming up on three years later. So, here's what you need to know. WWV and WWVB are operational right now in the year 2021, almost a full three years after people said that they weren't going to work anymore. 
If you own a clock or a watch that is designed to receive atomic time information from those radio stations in Colorado, uh, they will probably be working correctly today. There are some things you need to do to make sure they are working correctly. And if you look at the owner's manual for your clock or your watch that utilizes WWV or WWVB, the owner's manual will probably give you some great tips on how to make sure your clock is receiving that atomic time data correctly. You can read the manual before you make a video saying that a radio-controlled watch is worthless. Perhaps you could read the manual and find out how to use it then you could make a video about how to use it. See, that would be a good idea. All right, so uh, let's say, for example, and I've, I've seen this before, you know, you see, you see reviews online. Let's say I bought a car that's a two-wheel drive car, and I had it for a few weeks, and then I wrote a review and posted it on the review site for that car, and I said, you know, this two-wheel drive car just isn't as good as a four-wheel drive version of this car. Is that a valid complaint? Why didn't I just buy the four-wheel drive version? Was there something in, in, in the product advertisement that said the two-wheel drive version is just as good as the four-wheel drive version? You don't need to pay extra and buy the four-wheel drive version. Hmm, no, I don't think the car manufacturer probably said, go ahead and buy the two-wheel drive version. You'll never notice the difference between that and paying a few dollars more for the four-wheel drive version. You see, if I wrote that review, complaining that the two-wheel drive version of the car wasn't as good as the four-wheel drive version of the car, I would think that's user error. That's a review from someone who is ill-informed. That's a review from someone who is not reviewing the product they bought, but instead dreaming about a product that they didn't buy. All right? I read some reviews for a washing machine. I recently purchased a washing machine for my in-laws. Okay, some of the reviews said, wait a minute, they sold me a washing machine that was refurbished or used. It wasn't brand new because when I got the washing machine and I went to hook up the drain, there was already water inside the washing machine. Well, someone corrected that review by saying, of course there was water inside the washing machine draining system because at the factory, they test them. And when they test them, they don't absolutely make sure that the drainage system is completely clear of water once again. They're able to package them and ship them with a little bit of water still inside. You see, the person who wrote that review complaining that the washing machine was obviously not brand new because there was water in the drainage system, that person didn't know that they test these things at the factory using water. Okay, so that review complaining about the water in the drainage system is invalid because that person who wrote it didn't know what they were talking about. So, if you're going to buy a watch or a clock that uses WWV or WWVB or even some of the other transmitters in different parts of the world, like the two in Japan, the one in China, the one in the UK, and the one in Germany that are part of Casio's multiband six, system that can receive from, you know, all six of those different transmitters in different parts of the world. Maybe you should read up on those and find out how they work. Find out if you're living in a part of the world where this would be, uh, you know, a, a valid product that works well, and then read the manual, and then maybe it'll work just exactly the way that Casio said it should work. And you shouldn't listen to somebody who said it's worthless without actually knowing what they were talking about. This is what I would like you to know today about radio-controlled clocks and watches. I hope you buy one that works well for you, and I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you realize that it's worth the money when you use it correctly. That's all for now, and again, I apologize for this video with its silly title and its aggravating content. But I hope you will forgive me and expect a much better video next time here on the Good Timekeeping Show.